is simply too much good content in the NFL right now to not make this video. I feel legally obligated to make this video. Ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. There has not been this much meme content since maybe the rumors that Odell liked to poop in girls' mouths. <laughs> what? Or would like to be pooped on. I don't remember, what the, I don't remember which way that went. I mean, can you blame the guy? Ooh. Let's be honest. Down back calling 4K ratio, ratio. But honestly, dude, I can't remember the last time memes were this funny for the NFL. I never I never knew when an NFL meme review was going to pop back up, but it popped back up. Gruden is a content machine. We live for this guy. You know, Stephen A. Smith's a content machine. Every time he does something, it's a meme. I, I've been coming. I'm going to continue to come. Skip's been coming. Gruden, bro. Gruden was already a content machine, and all this horrible stuff just came out about Gruden, and I have been absolutely cracking up. I will say before I go into this video, I had a sad revelation. The funniest NFL meme page in the world is Ghetto Gronk on Instagram. I think he comes up with a good amount of himself, and then he kind of just repurposes all the best ones, but that dude, I actually crack up laughing out loud every single day, and there's never been a page that can make me do that. Depressingly enough, though, he made so many John Gruden jokes that I think he is currently banned on Instagram. I hope when you're seeing this video, his accounts back up. I just wanted to shout that guy out, because really, it's why I want to make this video. I thought it was so funny. Let's just hop in. I've done a few NFL meme reviews before and i'm so excited for this one bro Woo! let's get it i'm on his twitter right now he takes all his instagram posts and puts them on twitter it doesn't matter it's all the same content here first thing so he said antonio brown was right about everything it is truly not looking good for the steelers or the raiders and the man is now on the buccaneers and has an extra ring i still think antonio brown's kind of off his rocker compared to gruden he's honestly on his rocker he's in his rocker very firmly antonio come in Antonio Brown asked Raiders for release calls GM a crack. White people, white people, white people. Clearly onto something. <laughs> Boo Boo Schuster was ready under 500. You bomb learns him. Did he really tweet that? Was that a real tweet? I think that was a real tweet. Oh, bad timing. Oh, yeah. The dude called me out. We lose a game. He like, damn, AB should have ran a better route. Why would, you, why would Ben do that? That's the type of guy he is. He feel like he the owner. Bro, you threw this shit to the D line, man. How the fuck I'm going to <laughs> I will say, when all this happened, it wasn't the greatest take in the world. There have been seasons where Big Ben is an incredible quarterback. He looks like shit this year. John Gruden when Carl Nassib misses a tackle. Ooh, do I even want to play this out loud? You <laughs> The worst part about all these Spongebob memes is the dub is so good. It literally sounds exactly like Spongebob is saying that. Whoever does this is so good at the voice. I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. Cap. John Gruden when he sees a female referee. Oh god, do I want to watch this either? Get back in the kitchen. <laughs> All right, listen, for anyone who's not clued in on this Gruden stuff, a couple weeks ago, it came out that 10 years ago, he had made an email which referred to a black guy as having big Ooh. ass lips, basically, which is racist. However, it didn't look that bad. What do you mean by that? Like, you know, that was just one email from 10 years ago. I've said horrible shit 10 years ago. I love penis. When that was the only information that came out, there was actually an argument to be made. There was an argument to be made like, okay, so should Gruden really be getting this much heat for an email 10 years ago? And then Gruden resigns, and then thousands of emails came out where he said just horrible shit. I'm not even gonna pull it up or show you. Go ahead and Google it when you're done with this video because it's bad. He basically said everything that you cannot say. He actually went as far as to like criticize someone for drafting a gay player. He has Carl Nassib on his team. Oh, dude, it's so bad. John Gruden apologizes for leaving Jews out of the <laughs> One thing I will say about this, this does kind of piss me off. Electronic Arts recently announced that they're going to remove Gruden from Madden. Last time EA removed somebody from Madden, it was halfback number 25. Do you guys remember that? It was Ray Rice. He's on the Ravens. And honestly, I can see right now why you'd take Gruden out of the game. But here's my issue. Deshaun Jackson is still in the game. For those of you who don't know, Deshaun Jackson put on his public Instagram Instagram story. Okay, so these weren't like uncovered texts from his phone. He's on his public Instagram story. Actual quotes from Adolf Hitler. Well, I'm out, man. I feel weird even saying that out loud. Super anti-Semitic shit. The Eagles had to make a public apology, all this stuff. And then it just it just glazed over. Nobody cared. Now I'll say in both regards, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit what Deshaun Jackson thinks or what Gruden thinks. But it bothers me that Madden picks a side in this. I think Madden only gives a shit if there's media pressure and they're just such fucking pussies, honestly. They don't give a fuck. Clearly. 
clearly. They clearly don't give a shit with Deshaun Jackson. That dude's still in the game. So yeah, either way, Gruden's gonna be out of the game. He's gonna probably get replaced by one of those base fucking rando coaches. <laughs> Release the John Gruden emails. Nobody is more dialed in right now than Urban Meyer. Urban Meyer shit comes out. Week later, Gruden. Nobody remembers the Urban Meyer shit. Galaxy brain level plays. John Gruden in his emails. <laughs> it's just the God lobby. <laughs> Actually, I kind of tweeted the same thing too. Ghetto Grok knows what's up. I tweeted out, I said Gruden thought he was in an Xbox party chat and he wasn't typing out an email. Common mistake. I did mess up big time though. I tweeted out that everyone was a pussy for wanting Gruden to get fired. But this was before I saw all the new emails. I thought it was from the one email 10 years ago. And I tweeted that out when the new emails had come out. So basically I looked like a disgusting, horrible person on Twitter. Twitter is like where the worst, saddest, most aggressive people are in the world. So yeah. Yeah, I, I got under fire for a little bit. Cancel culture is the worst. John Gruden can coach my team any day of the week. <laughs> he put Nick Bosa in there. Yeah, this is basically me. This is basically what I said before I saw the new email. So you can just Photoshop a picture of me in there if you want. Proof bullying works. Loki, so true. Oh my God. It actually, yeah. Missing. Have you seen this person? Frank Clark. Missing since week one. Identifying characteristics. Will not harm a QB. Last seen stealing 100. He is on a $104 million contract. That's actually highway robbery. Patrick Mahomes. Holmes tonight turning into Spencer Rattler. My eyes! Spencer Rattler has uh has been dog shit. Wow, he's been really bad. Kind of sad actually. He has such a cool look. You know, I kind of wish he was good. Oklahoma when Spencer Rattler declares for the 2022 NFL draft. Well, what can I say? It's been great knowing you, SpongeBob. Good luck somewhere else. I'm pretty sure he got benched, right? It's so crazy. He was such a big name, too. Corp needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture and the same picture. It sucks to see Spencer Rattler struggle. He was so humble in high school. Oh, boy. It's fucking Spencer Rattler. Slander season right now. I was actually like just so dialed into watching that. He was talking like that in high school? That's actually so disrespectful. That's supposed to be one of his teammates or his friends. That's kind of fucked up. You know, before I really judge Spencer Rattler, kind of want to see more information about him. Based off of that right there, holy shit, that guy fucking sucks. Cut Russell Wilson, rebuild around Geno Smith. I think these are so funny. Playoffs, undefeated. Age, young, 30. Old, 32. AFC player of the week. <laughs> He played super good when he came for Russell Wilson. There are multiple teams in the NFL who would take that Geno Smith as their starting quarterback right now. Ooh. Lions included. The Steelers are 2-8 and eight since this tweet. Losing? Never heard of it. Just shut up. I gotta fucking do this Chase Claypool tweet too is kind of frustrating because Chase Claypool, after he got so much shit for that tweet, this is when the Steelers were undefeated last year, he tweeted that. He then quoted his own tweet. Oh, it's right here. It's it's literally the first one. Losing, never heard of her. Quote tweeted his own tweet. I was the first one in my family to go and finish college. I graduated from one of the most prestigious universities in the world. I bought both my parents brand new cars at the age of 21. At the age of 22, I bought my family and I a home. Losing, still never heard of her. <laughs> Did you just cringe when I read that? Were you cringing while you were reading it? I was too. I'm so torn because I love Chase Claypool. I think he's so fucking funny. But my piece of advice for Chase Claypool on this one is, listen, bro, you don't have to have it all, okay? This reeks of insecurity. It really does. You're a talented, professional athlete making a ton of money. You tweeted a tweet about being undefeated, and then your team started to get dicked. Just take your L. It is really cool that you're financially successful and you went to a great university. Nobody ever questioned that though. And also, that's definitely not what your tweet was about. Your tweet was about being undefeated, not about how much money you've made. I think a better press move would be to quote tweet that and say, damn, this is looking rough, huh? Because everyone's like, okay, he gets it. He made a funny tweet that went wrong. You don't have to throw all your money in my face. It doesn't make your tweet correct. You're still fucking two and eight since you tweeted it, bud. Whatever. Urban Meyer, I'm the worst coach in the NFL. Matt Nagy. Yeah, you know what? Bears look pretty good against the Raiders, though, so I don't know if we can say too much. Also, Urban Meyer is the best coach in the NFL. Okay. So I don't know where they got that information. The best QB in Patriots history plus Tom Brady. Bro, he had a Tom Brady stat line that game. He really did. 24 for 29, 216 yards. This is just crazy. LaShawn McCoy's Super Bowl career is zero snaps played, two rings. That's the life. The Tyrod Taylor theory. Every team has found their franchise QB after Tyrod Taylor played them. 
Josh Allen, Baker Mayfield, Justin Herbert. Davis Mills has that potential. Low key, I love Davis Mills. If you're Davis Mills, do you think you're ever touching the field ever? Same with Ben DiNucci last year. Like, bro, Davis Mills thought Deshaun Watson's first, Tyrod Taylor's second. I ain't doing shit. Now he's out there fucking slinging. I'm so depressed that his Instagram is down because there's so much more content on it. I'm gonna go to someone else's Instagram, but whatever. <sighs> Jerry Jones probably has the script to Django in his emails. <laughs> Here's the problem. Jerry Jones' pockets run way too deep. Jerry Jones has that deep Dallas money. You ain't pulling shit on Jerry Jones. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. The comments on this are bad. John Gruden to Lamar Jackson when Derek Carr scrambles for two yards. Oh, I know what this clip is. That white man loves the football. <laughs> NFL coaches, GMs, and owners after hearing about John Gruden. If you think John Gruden's the only one who's got some dirt to pull up, you're out of your mind. Although in fairness, I want you to think about yourself for a second. Have you ever sent an email, text, Snapchat, Instagram DM, message, or anything that would look absolutely horrible? This cup! This cup! Get a I guarantee that every single person watching this video has. Myself, damn well included, baby. I said that shit on videos. I love it. Do I think cancel culture is real? No, I don't think that shit's real. I think if you're a professional and you say something horrible, you probably should lose your job. If it's from 30 years ago, 20 years ago, 10 years ago, maybe not. It's kind of up for debate. That just depends on the severity. If you want to go look at that Gruden shit, you will understand why this man got fired. Bears fans trying to hack Matt Nagy's emails out here much. Bears fans, tell me honestly, do you hate Matt Nagy that much? Like, do you want him out? I don't know if this is just a meme or what. Urban Meyer right now. <laughs> I fucking love Urban Meyer, dude. Ouch. Ouch. It might be a little bit too soon, but it's, it looks true so far. I'm so happy to see Lamar Jackson in this picture, too. Lamar Jackson has just been getting fucking dragged. Ever since MVP season, everyone wanted to tweet this bullshit about figuring him out. You didn't figure shit out. He still had a great year. It wasn't the world's best MVP year, but he had a great year. And he's about to have another one, baby. Patrick Holmes after every game seeing what dumb shit his fiance and brother did on social <laughs> Oh! I wonder if he is aware. I always sometimes think these super high profile people are just not aware. Like, do you really think Patrick Mahomes runs his own Instagram and his own Twitter? I wonder if Mahomes even knows what TikTok is or scrolls it. I would put them on a timeout if I was him. Pretty sure he has the power in those relationships to put them in a timeout. I'm gonna end on this one right here because I already know what it is. It's been a really bad year. You know, we made NFL history though. We are the only team to lose on two game winning field goals of over 50 yards. Only team to ever do that. One of them happened to be 60 fucking six. The other was 54. All right, boys. I will definitely do more of these. I know you guys love this shit. I will be real surprised if we get another content machine as good as the Gruden one and Urban Meyer have been. I know at least, you know, five, six weeks from now, we're going to have tons of great new content. So make sure to follow NFL memes underscore IG. They got fire shit. And make sure to follow Ghetto Gronk if he gets back up. Those guys provided the content for today's video. Their shit is hilarious. I love you, boys. I will see you in the next video. Peace out. <laughs>